Uh, what's up? What's up, homie? You, what's up, baby? <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Capro. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me? Capro. <laughs> Yo, fam, I can't hear you. Maybe it's the sound music. Music, yeah. music is out. Loud. Music is loud. What's your name, Capo? <laughs> Alright, cool. Your name is Capo. Oh god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and that's me to you. Yeah, me and my home, Casper. So, sorry, <laughs> Casper. <laughs> Yo, fam, what you saying, B? Casper. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. And uh, very many. Welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Mm-hmm. Yes. Chilling with Mr. Gun, Gun Lifestyle. I really thought you were going to say on them Gundam style. No, 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 no. Why oh. would you say that? Because it's like the way you said it. Chilling mm. with Mr. Gun style. No, I'm cool, man. Yeah. I'm nice. I'm happy. I'm, I'm all You chill. are still Mr. Gun Lifestyle. Yeah, but I'm losing weight now, so I'm going to go back to Papa Action. Papa Action. Papa Action Lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to wait for the, ma- the, for the honeys. Yeah. Because apparently when I lose weight, I look very cute. So, yeah. Did you have to lose weight for that uh, parody you did of Move For Me? No, that one I was still, yo, no, I was, <laughs> I was big, I was, yo. <laughs> and he was dude, like, you wouldn't come on and it's hard, I'm coming hard to touch you. So even when that girl was giving me a hug there, yeah. cause I could feel it, like, I could hear, feel a heartbeat, like, damn, yeah. what am I doing? Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Carpo. Uh, today we're going to be talking all things City of Lies. It's a brand yes. new movie. It's coming out this Friday. Make sure you check it out. And uh, by the way, this episode is brought to you by Filmfinity. Uh, you had the opportunity to check out the movie. What yeah, do you think of it? Yeah, and I was watching it alone, dark, in the dark room. Aren't you used One to that? One man, nah, like, chilling alone in the dark. Yeah. Nah, I'm not used to that. But, you know, I watched the movie, you know, and I, when I saw the, 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 the trailer before... I really thought that, you know, I was going to, like, see a lot of Biggie. Mm, mm, you know what mm. I'm saying? But I didn't, you know, because maybe I thought, I really I really thought, like, it was going to be like, yo, Biggie's going to be in the movie. You know, they're going to show us everything. But I understand that. And um, the movie is it's quite dope, man. I like it, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, cause I really, there's a lot of things that I didn't know about um, B.I.G., mm. you know. And, you know, with this movie, you know, all the information, all the cops that me doing nonsense with Mr. Switch, nice Switch. Or Suge. <laughs> Suge. 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 You know, I, I, yeah, okay, Suge Knight. You know, I saw, I, I, I've, I've learned so much about, you know, Biggie's life and Biggie's, um, you know, the, 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 like, you know, with him and Tupac, you know. It, it, I really, I feel like the movie is, 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 is it taught me, let me just say the movie taught me a lot. Mm. Because I didn't know so many, I didn't know about the ADPD. Mm. I didn't know about, you know, um, there was still twenty years later. There was still someone doing an investigation yeah. about you know Big's death. Death, mm. you know. And were you are you a Big fan or Pac fan? I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a um, baby baby. You know, say like you know sometimes when we like do the right thing, you know. You know if you don't know, then you know, no, nigga. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, it's a really good thing. Yo, man, I'm a I'm a, I was I was, I was a Big fan, mm. and you know. Uh, I like that movie, man. I don't know what you call it with the baby on, on it. No, it's not with the. Is it with the baby? There's a there's a kid there, man. On the, the cover of the of the. Album. Ready to die. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> that's the album. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's the one. I became a fan that time. Mm. You know when I listened to Biggie's song, because I was on a point. There was a point in my life where I was going through so many things, and I listened to one of his songs featuring um, Bob Marley. Oh yes, yeah. Can I get it? No woman, no, 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 cry. No woman, no cry. Cause the sons are not that. No, some woman will cry, man. Like the song, I forgot what it's called, man. One big say, "Wanna die? Fuck it, the world that go to hell." Cause I'm a piece of shit and ain't hard to fucking tell. Make what no sense, go when they grab him with the hoodie, go to dress the world up and fill black teams with black hey, hands. Hey, 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 you know, when I heard the first time I heard the song, going through so much and Suicide Note. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Because they explain it's like, you know, he wants to die, you know, cut his wrist, wrist whatever. Well, yeah, all those things. And there's a part on that song that really, it really caught me, you know. He said, I can't really say, man. He said, lying to mama, he's stealing out the purse. Time after time, from drugs to extortion. 
She wishes that his mom got an abortion. <gasps> oh, deep. Get it, yeah, no. Yeah. Biggie is Biggie, you know. So since then, I've, I've. That was one of the albums that I really like fell in love with, and you know. What shit were you going through at that time? I was. It was. It was. You know, like parents, my mom and dad. You know, they passed away, mm-hmm. and I have to live with my, my, my brother. You know, and my life changed because. You understand? I had a driver, dog. You know, I was that kid in the hood who has a driver. You had a driver, man. Yeah, G. I had a driver in my hood, dog. You know, that was unheard of. I was, on, I was one of those kids in the hood, you know. And not really, palamari takes it, boy. Yeah, 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 palamalolo. I don't say govili, you know, because I went. I don't say palamini. You palama then there, you know, because you know, even when I went, because the first school I went to, this is the school I went to high. So I would take a taxi. Then I went to the other school called St. Michael's. Mm. Then I didn't take a taxi because you now they would drop me off, come pick me up, drop me off because yeah. now my principal is from England. Now I'm in the because wow. I would take, I would change my uniform at six p.m. because I want people to see me with that school uniform. <laughs> Yo, man, I, I left that school. I'm in here now, you know. So after my parents, my my dad passed away. What were your parents doing at the time? Their profession. Uh, my mom was a designer. Mm. My dad was a retired principal. Like he retired. Mm. So he had the and My dad was that type of person that would save. Mm. You know, and you know when they passed away, it, it my love became. I'm like, oh no, you know, waking up in the morning trying to commit suicide. Mm. Dog, there was a time I tried hanging myself, the rope broke. Damn, you dog. know, we, we, you know, and it, it is is something that you know. Even in my mom's funeral, I didn't cry. You mm. know, I was just like, ah, you know, it happened, and you know, I tried to accept it. It only hit me after one week hmm. when everybody's leaving the house now. You know, your aunties are going, and everybody, and you're alone. And it hit me like, damn, because I was sleeping and I felt like she's calling you. Like, Ooh. I was dreaming. Mm. Went there, I'm like, gone, you know. Seeing as I cried, it didn't help, you know, because the secretary gave me sleeping tablets where I would sleep for, because I, I have to take one, me, I take, I take three so I can sleep for 24 hours. So, like, I would sleep for 24 hours every single day when I still live with my brother, but I stopped taking those pills because I was like, what the hell is going on, mm. you know, and, you know, I was in school and, I passed, and you know, with my brother, it was I was suffering, you know, a lot because mm. now my life changed. And mm-mm. excuse, excuse. Out, <laughs> you know, I was I was staying with my brother, and my I saw life in another way. I'm like, hey man, I'm living in a flat. I don't have a bed. I don't have a driver anymore. I don't have a driver anymore. I'm going to this other rough school in Pretoria, which was my man. I saw people playing matais, mm. and you know, I didn't know those kind of things. You know, people smoking weed at school, students smoking cigarette at school, and you see this other booty guy. You know, scary as hell, dog. You know, and but one one thing is that I was so blessed because people loved me. You know, mm. I've been like yo, find a whole bunch of, You know, I skimmed the road with the big G's, but I wouldn't roll with them. You know, my friends running to my house saying that their father's looking for them because the cops are chasing him. So you run him to my house. Mm. And there was the guy that I was always every day with, so I had to hide him. And it was bad because they, had, I think they hijacked the car or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it was like I saw life in a different way. And you know, when my when Casper was was still in Joburg, and he would call me and say, "Yo, man, I'm suffering." I'm like, "What's wrong?" Mm. It's like, "Yo, bro, I, I can't take a shit." I'm like, "What do you mean? Like my shit is hard?" I'm like, "I don't understand." You know, and it explains to me like I eat beans every day. You know, and I would send my money to school. For him, like, well, oh, he can't take a shit because he eats beans every yeah, day. Yeah, like, it's the same thing every day, mm. so it's hard. So, you know, he's he's crying there. <coughs> saying, nah, man, I don't know why I'm not making it, you know. And me, I'm like, yo, me too, I'm suffering this side because I'm living with my brother, and you know, were you close with your brother? My brother, no, we're not that close, close, mm. you know. And you know, when I signed the papers saying everything goes to him, you know, I didn't know that I'm signing that. Mm. He took everything, you know. So even the money went to everything, chief. Mm. You know, and for me it was very sad because he was my role model, you mm. know. But I, I still love him, and you know we're still together. We talk every day. I, I'm visiting, you know, buy things for him, you know. I forgive because I'm a very forgiving person, you know. You know, like when Casper going back to that, you know, he calls me like, "Yo, man, um, Ashafid, you come there. My girlfriend left me, you know. Um, they're trying to kick me out here." I don't know what I'm gonna do. Creation done. Pray, you know. And one day, you know, with prayer, <clears throat> see how God is because God He works in mysterious ways. Like, Casper was, t- I think, was taking a piss or was in the studio or something. I forgot. And he saw a black car outside, and he knew that the owner of that car is 
double HP. Mm. So I repeat this, uh, so that Jojaba can see him. Mm. I wanted to greet the man. It's like, hey, you can't play. Hey, say, Mr. Wallah, he in future. I want you to jump on a song called I'm so many tall, you know. And he got into this, he got, in, cause he got into the song, he recorded, I'm saying Victoria, and I see pictures on Casper, you know, dressed all nice and everything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Hey, man. He's bowling. You know, he's not bowling, he's pretending like he's yeah. got it, but he ain't got it that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You know, he went to, I went to my town, it's been like a year or, a year, a whole year not seeing Casper, like, it didn't happen, like, right, you know, it wasn't right for me, you know, we, just, we were very close. You know, every day we're together, and when we, when, when he went back to math, I was in math at the time, and I see it refueled. I'm like, yo, man, it's been a long time. So I would lie to my friends saying that um, I was I was sick. That's why I couldn't come to my feet game. By that time, I jumped out of the car because I broke my, my leg and my collarbone because that's when they said I killed my mom. Damn. So I jumped out of the car, and it was very painful. You see, when the, that, that kind of thing was bad like for me. So, you know, I went to math town, and... Um, they told Casper's where we stay in Joburg. They say he must go back. They don't see a future in him. <coughs> so he had to go back to my beginning, and I went to back to my beginning. We stayed at my mom's house, me and him, for like a year together, you know. And it's like, yo, man, couple, let me go to Joburg and try one more time because they were not staying together. We ate fake, fake cakes and and archer every day because they was the only thing that we could afford. Yeah, you know, and we we, we had to make plans. Sometimes we invite people to the house so that. They can bring food like, hey, man, I jam, call it down, he's gonna You know, and it's it's so crazy that you know when you see people, there's some other guy who asks ask me a question, and say, what would you do? What would you say? What's your wish? I mean, I said, I, I, I don't know, was it me or Casper answered, and I said, I wish that all the people who talk bad about Casper can come sit down on one table and see what kind of a person he is, mm. because. That kid is a fighter, and I always talk about him all wherever I go, and I don't care. Like, I love talking about what this boy has done because it's amazing. You know what I mean? It's, it's beautiful, man. Like, getting friends from the hood and, and taking them in and bringing them into your house and changing their lives. It's amazing, dog. You know what I'm saying? When, you go, when he goes out to buy groceries and toiletries, he don't buy it from alone. He buys for the person that he's with also. Yeah. You know, I mean, we live with innocent. Innocent, innocent is our, it's, it's, it's Casper's gardener, you know, and the way he innocent will come in every day, like, almost every day is like, yo, man, thank you so much. And for what? For going to Casper and telling him that I must come and be the guy. Hmm. I remember that story you were telling about um, you, you guys had 150 bucks left and you had soy. Yeah. <laughs> that story kills yeah, me. Yeah. That was, that was, I was still fresh in Joburg that time. <laughs> fresh in Joburg, man. And, you know, there's, you know, in Joburg, like, Kes, Kes had a, this other girl, was very nice girl. And now they, I'm chilling by the corner and Casper is kissing this girl. And I'm like, ah, I'm out of talk. <laughs> <laughs> what about me, dog? What about me? Because we're like, no, baby, go get, go get your friend. Hey, I'm finding one like a Sam. Got time on. Got time on. You can't move money from from four o'clock to like a day at ten. Get a bottle of garage to get more. Yeah. Condoms. Yeah. <laughs> and when I came back, I did my thing. <clears throat> and when I told that girl, when we're leaving now, that girl is leaving. <coughs> and that girl said to me, eh. I asked that girl, baby, are you going to come back? I said, ah, when? Never. I'm not coming back. I said, why? I said, ah, why? I don't follow her. My love, you must understand. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, man. You're too beautiful. I said, yo, I'm going to rail it all Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, and I called myself a beast at the time. Even today, they still call me the beast. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, because the 150 part was the same girl that I was with. Mm. And two weeks later, I met in the club. Mm. Guess what's 150 rand? We change a sway. We have, we bought like beers. Six pack in here. No, I think, yeah, one one. I see that girl. I go upstairs. I'm in Joe Big Dog. You know? yeah. I don't know these things of short dog, you guy. Fresh out the box. Go upstairs. Say, what's up, girl? I have to say, what's up? Because I can't see my cat. I bet I was up with Fanda. You know, got upstairs, told that girl, my baby, what do you want? Um, shot a patron. Patron, okay, yo, give me four I'm confidence. Yeah, give me uh, four, four shots of Patron. <laughs> yeah, 
aïe, ça va dire ça. Bon, bas, libre, je vais vous dire. Faut que tu shot one. Kira à ma sister, take them, I took them back. Kira, give me your cheapest shot. I'm pas clip drift. On a chaque baby, so we wanna vibe together. But yeah, yeah, we wanna be going together, we wanna live together. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, qu'est-ce que tu as Eh, mon, in ça. Nyoko. So me I'm for that girl to come home with me. I the less I can achieve. <laughs> I see the less going upstairs. Yeah. Looking Which, like a million bucks. My man, he just won the tropical thing that time. Yeah. Can I do a bottle of the shot to tap the shot to shot the patron? Baby X baby, you still coming with me? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there with you in a minute. Go on my pants. Go outside. Chilling in the car, Casper's like, hey chief, why not over like trust me? She said she's coming, but boy, what's so girl on? That girl came out. You might say a range roof. Now you mother golf. <laughs> I just saw that range will go shh. <laughs> and what I'm thinking inside is like oh, what too. First of all, I gotta clip drifting feet. Oh god. Corn. Yeah. Have you Gone. seen her now? No, yeah, I saw her at like uh Two years ago. And, and? When Casper was performing Doc Shabby I was backstage and she was on the side, general side. And she greeted me and said, hey, long time. I was like, hey, long time, man. <laughs> I said, out. I left it. I left it. <laughs> you could have bought a bottle of Patron now, dog. Yeah, but nah. I, you, see, you see the bottles that I, I never buy girls drinks. Why not? Mm-mm. You learned the hard way. Mm-mm. I learned the hard way, my man. Mm. If I go with a girl to a club, is that I'm booked? And then I get free alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On your tab. But if I'm going to the club and she says I must buy a bottom, Shapaka Savano Tralis. Shapaka Savana, Shapaka Kamsil. Or sometimes if she says she drinks champagne, I make sure I give a short shot to get a empty bottle of champagne. If you can tell us about the bottle of champagne, I get some. <laughs> no, baby. <laughs> Drink, my baby. No, sweetheart. <laughs> Okay, cool. So yeah, uh, so now you're struggling, you know, you guys are trying to make things work. When does your life start changing now? And you can start seeing, okay, there's progress in life. <laughs> when yeah. did I see that my life is changing? Yeah. When the time um, Cass moved to Johannesburg and I had to go back to Victoria to go finish my studies, which I didn't. But, you know, but I finished my metric that time. Eh? So I was going to, I was studying in Boston. And my no brother, can you get the uh, office administration? Serious? Mm. That's what you wanted to do? Yeah, no. I just chose it because I didn't know what I wanted to do in life. So, oh, okay. so I just checked. And I checked for the cheapest <laughs> subject. And I did it. And I did it. I did it. And it takes only two years. Yeah. I'm taking this one. Okay, good. Got there. Started studying you know, at night. I got to go to school. But you can't write your exams because your school fees has not been paid for four months. Mm. Who's meant to be paying? My brother. Mm. So I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to waste my time. But I had a, ma- a, 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 a lady, my mom born, you know, she, she, she's a mother to me, you know. She's like, you know what? I'll pay for your school fees, you know. But now at school, they say, I told her, I can't afford to pay my school fees. They're like, no, you can pay 500 rand every month. Mm. But you're going to do your course for seven years. Get seven years. <laughs> What's it going to do, Dr. Tamuz? Get a no, get a hell no. I'm not going to do that. I left. I called Cass, I said, oh, Cass, I'm depressed, and <coughs> I really can't do this. Like, yo, come here to Jobek and come suffer with me. Mm. And when I make it, you make it. Mm. I, I get the jokes in that time. If I want to go to MTN, I hear the story that Jobek people are going to rob you. Yeah. So I had to change my walk. <laughs> I had to make sure that I have a piece on. <laughs> but I had to make sure that no one comes to me and sees like a barri to go go my fiji. Got to Josie. Now Casper's living with this other girl called Nisi. So now Nisi's the girl that took Casper in and said, you know what, Casper, because you don't have a place to stay, come stay with me. But you know, when my parents come, my mom, my dad comes, please lock the room so that he doesn't know that you stay here. Mm. And I stayed with him. But obviously, like obviously Kautsa Mutomo happened, I just did this for you, you know. It it it, oh, it yeah. yeah, but Nisi was so cool with it, you know. Mm. But obviously, she wouldn't show us if she were, because I've never seen us like, mm. you know, I've mm. never seen her do that. And, mm. you know, that's one thing I really appreciate about her. And Casper's like, yo, man, this song's called Gushish and Fanaka. It's going to change our lives. So you had never heard it or you, you didn't record it with him? Ne? No. Mm. Next. Mm. And then when Casper's like, yo, man, I want to move out from Nisi's place and I'm going to get a 
place to stay. So that place, it's a one, it's a, it's a, it's a one bedroom. So many kids were living in a TV room. Mm. So our wardrobe, it was the kitchen. Mm. So we put our clothes in the kitchen cupboards mm. and we had black plastic bags. Mm. So, you know, after we, if maybe we come from the club, me and Kess will be like, Kapo, please tell them it's your house because now I'm already making it and now it's embarrassing. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. Like, Kess will be like, hey, Mona, hey, Mona, hey, baby, you think you key? I can't find my key, so but let's just go to Kapo's house. <laughs> Yeah. Black plastic bags on the floor with clothes. Yeah, come to my house, baby. Chill. Years later, I remember, man. Remember that time you said to that girl that I must say it's my house. Even now, you must do the same thing. Mm, mm, mm. That mention of yours. You must say it's my house also. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So he kept, and then, you know, as time moves, he was like, yo, man, open Instagram. I'm going to post you. Just be yourself. I'm like, okay, sure. I posted myself. I'm, you know, posting myself, posting myself. And, you know, I start seeing lies. I see kids were posting me, you know, mm. writing about me, tweeting about me, you know. I'm getting followers and thousands, yo, thousand followers. Okay, you know, and people started noticing this guy because they didn't. They always see this guy behind Casper, was working around with Casper. Some of you call me Casper's ponytail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but I didn't mind, you mm. know, because I know what I'm, you know, what I'm doing, with my brother. Because when we build this thing, next I have to listen to people to, to you know, because people will come to me and say, but what are you doing for yourself, and so I mean, like you're following this guy, this guy's making money. Okay? I don't care. Mm. My time will come because I believe yeah. like God has a plan for everyone, you know. Exactly. My man Casper said. Uh, Kesper comes to me. He's like, Yo, dog, do you know how much I have in my account? I'm like, How much? 22,000. Wow, I got your child. And that time we're in the same Supega that I used to have at school. So it would work. Kesper's the one who gave me that Supega. Yeah. Get to, get, I got to, um, what is this? Uh, we go to, to the mall and Kesper's buying clothes. Wow. And he's buying for me. When he's buying a jean, he buys for me. When he buys a tea, he buys for me. Wow. And I didn't even ask him. No, mm. I don't. Mm. I never. I've never seen myself going shopping. Well, can make Kabila Kesper to go shopping? You know, I just look at something that you wanted. I'm like, yeah, they take it. Mm. You know what I mean? Even till today. Mm. I mean, these shoes. Yeah, he bought them for me. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? And he would. I saw him pay five thousand rand. I'm like, you, you can buy us on one. Five thousand a parum. Yeah, two hundred. I'm two now I have a, I'm wearing like a fancy genie, you know, and on a shirt. Yeah. Can't in a fancy genie and a shirt. And no, there's vans and then yeah, and a shirt. And it was a t-shirt in one a grey. And Casper had the same thing. They went to look at chefs. Mm. Twelve uh, uh, beer. Are twelve vodka. I mean, I mean I mean one bottle of vodka. Luminate, my man, I feel I felt amazing at the time. You wow. know? I felt so amazing, like wow. And people still don't know who you are. People don't know who, who am I. Mm. They only know a guy called Casper. Yeah. You know, to the fire Casper about dog shape laser now. No, we moved from from where we staying with the one the one bedroom house. Mm. Then we moved to four weeks. I'm like, dog, are you sure you wanna move? It's like to a couple I think I can afford it. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I get to four ways. I have my own room now. Mm. But still I would sleep with the field. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are joined to the hip yeah. dog. Yeah. Get to four ways. I'm like, I can't believe this. Mm. I just see Casper say when this song happened, he took out this other song and Dog Shabby Laser. That's when I saw the feeling become a star. Wow. And I'm like, damn. Wow. Dog. And then Major League did this other song called Slice of Toads. Slice of Toads, yeah. And I remember I was in Bloom and Ricky was like, yo, man, we must put Capo in a song. Mm. I mean, why do you have to pay to Capo in this song? You know, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Put Capo in the song. But Ricky, no, baby, what is Capo going to say? What is he going to do, Capo? He's going to rap for us or what? No, but he leave him, leave him. I know maybe Ricky knows what he's doing, Capo, you know? He's like, hey, Bunji, listen. I want to say what's your name. <laughs> you know, and coming back from, when he got back from Bloom, we went to Ricky's house and I got a call from, I got a call from Bunji Lee. Hey, Capo, what are you doing, man? I'm just chilling. Yeah, man. I he wants to put you on the song, man. Uh, there's nothing I can do, eh? <laughs> I come. Okay, came. 
So it really left me in a room so I can say whatever I want to say. Mm. And I said it, and the song came out, and people were like, ah, oh, this is rubbish, this is rubbish. Mm. Because Casper is such a marketing genius. Mm. You know, he just took out a video where he was dancing <coughs> for Slicer. Mm. Our dance, the song became, poof, it blew up. Mm. And, you know, when that's when I saw people noticing me. Mm. So, because I remember the first, the, before I, before Casper became Casper, he was do, did a song called, with, with Jabba called Pastime. And I was wearing a, sh- a, t- a shirt, a brown shirt with glasses. And I appeared on the video. Mm. I would wear the shirt every weekend, thinking that people would notice me from that video. <laughs> Antoine, I will not notice you, chief. <laughs> Same out every weekend. Dog, there was a time I even took a picture with that shirt like this. Yes. No one noticed me. Yeah, yeah. You're going back to Slicer. Slicer came out. <laughs> you know, there was this idea KFC that Casper did. And this time I'm in Botswana. I only have 100 rand in my account. I remember waking up and you can run your 50s. Get a how? Mm. Mm. Uh-uh. Chilled me for two, three hours. No one is calling me. Mm. Go to the bottle store. Let me just check this thing's working. <laughs> I think it's a heaven. Put 9,000 something, something. Mm. Okay, there's money in here. And it's my money. Mm. I'm fana. I'm fana. I'm fana. I'm fana. take a lap, papa, cash, chew. <laughs> 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 Let me just tell you where that money is from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the money was from uh, my friend called me. Oh, you get the guy? Yeah, I did. Oh, from KFC. What for that thing? Oh, that's dope. Mm. You know, I came back here. Yeah. Came to Josie. So you go give Sulam and Bozor. No, man. Eh, went to the bank and. And they said, the, the guy from the bank is like, yo, man, don't you want to save? I'm like, this guy is not serious. Want me to save? Give me a grab my first 50 stay on target save, my bra. You got to do the car thing, Chad, because I lost my card. I <laughs> know. <sighs> no, I'm just saying, maybe like this investment thing, you know, can help you out. So, how much must I put in that invest if I open, the investment if I open? Yeah. I don't know, you can put in your five, because I ask, son. What's it, 1,000? They must say, I call again. What is the 1,000, you know? And that day, I was like, you know what? He doesn't know the struggle, boy. He doesn't know the struggle, dog. <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, people started noticing me. The video came out. You know, I started meeting celebrities. I started starting relationships with celebrities. I had to make sure that people liked me, you know, and, and not forcing myself to be something I'm not. So, you know, Instagram booming, Casper posting, booming, posting, posting. And people say Casper's best friend. Now they know me as Casper's best friend, mm. you know. And I didn't really mind because they know me. Yo, that's Casper's best friend. So it was never planned. You guys never sat down like, okay, boy, we're going to push you. Like this. No. It was just organic. It was just like that. Like I said, God has his ways. Mm. You know. And And it helps because you're a funny guy. You're you know, a likable person. And I'm 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 myself. Mm. And I will never I'll never be something that I'm not. And you know, and then today when I have and I sh- after shooting this Ultimate House Vibe show mm. and I was like I just shot a show with Kanye Bao next to you. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I wouldn't show it was like ah Kanye, you know, you don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Oompa pops. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, mm. just pretend or I was sharp. You're too normal. What a who's it? Can you? Sharp with one. Thank you. Ah, poza. What's a patron? Hey, what's up, banan? You know, yeah. Because even with patrol, you know, but we're, we're still living in the hood. Yeah. We used to take drink or pop, ne, mm. and pour it inside us a rock bottle. Wow. And when I look at back, I'm like, I was telling the guys, I'm like, yo, dog, remember when we used to call. Um, drink pop, Sorocco pop. Yeah. Because we pop, drink pop in a Sorocco bottle. And we would just leave the bottles there. Even for sure now, they're still there at my house. Because he was like, hey, my dude, because he was dead. Casper liked things. Yeah. You know, but we, 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 my life changed when I saw that it's a, when they say it's a rap. Hmm. And I'm like, yeah, get my own place, you know. And through prayer and a friend, like, my home is gas, which mm. was crazy because last year, 2017, an operation, I, I punched a glass into my hand mm. and it almost killed me mm. because the glass cut the veins that goes to my heart. The first person that screamed out was Casp. The wow. fever. I went to Refilio's, got to Refilio's um, room and he just woke up and he's like, what the hell? All he sees is blood. 
and I see Rafili crying at the hospital. Mm-hmm. And the doctor said, okay, Sharp, he's here. And then uh, medically, the doctor said, okay, Sharp, he's here. And then medically, the doctor said, you know. And Kaz like, I don't care how much is it. I will pay cash. I saw Rafili pay 103,000 rand. Wow. For my operation. Damn. The doctor of the operation took a picture with me. So, can I please take a picture with you? I'm like, what? You were saved by 1%. Mm. You were dead. Mm. It's just how crazy. It is. 